Number of reports of injuries, which I think is the big thing here. So we want to check in. We have um, Daniel Slidell, uh, PIO, who's uh, joining us by phone. Um, first off, just want to say thank you for everything you're doing out there. We know you guys are extremely busy, um, and thanks for taking the time out to speak with us. What are some of the latest things that you want to let people know about? Yeah, thanks for having us. Look, we're, we're just trying to get the message out right now to, for people not to come out and sightsee. It's really not safe conditions. You know, we, we have water rising. We have our high water rescue uh, team out right now trying to cut through um, down trees, uh, get to people that might be trapped in their houses, particularly an elderly that might be on oxygen that need uh, transported out. Um, we, we, I haven't been able to, to see the radar or talk to anybody official, but we're being told that there was maybe two or three tornadoes that came down. The most excessive damage right now that I know of is on the south end of Slidell mm -hmm. uh, near Ponce Train, Old Spanish Trail. We've had multiple um, commercial structures that are partially collapsed, um, trees through uh, residential houses, Roofs ripped off. We had to, we had to rescue about 50 people out of an apartment complex off of Old Spanish Trail where um, the roof came off and uh, some part of the building collapsed there. It's uh, look, I haven't seen this kind of damage outside of a hurricane in Slidell in a long time, maybe ever in my lifetime uh, this bad. Um, and, and the Daniel, rate, the, Daniel the, if I can ahead. just butt in for a second, we we have had reports of injuries. Have you had reports of injuries? Yeah, so we, by the grace of God, we have not gotten any reports of serious or fatal injuries, and I hope it stays that way. And I can tell you right now, based off what I've seen, if, if we don't have any, it's, a, it's truly a miracle. But we, yes, we have um, multiple minor and uh, moderate injuries. Mm -hmm. we, actually had to, we actually had to transport people ourselves, the police department, because uh, ambulances were, were stacked full. Um, but nothing major, you know, for, for, for the damage that you're seeing, and for the injuries that we're having, it's a, it's a miracle right now, and, and we hope it stays that way. And I was going to say, what do you what do you assess as the extent of the damage that you guys have seen so far? I mean, I would I would consider it uh, extensive total loss damage to a lot of a lot of places I've seen. I mean, these apartments, this whole apartment complex. It's I mean, there's there's it's you know. Buildings are just completely partially collapsed on the front and back ends. Uh, the apartment complex, I, I didn't get a chance to walk around, but it looked pretty bad. Um, I saw a building on Pontstrain Drive where cars got thrown into it. Um, you know, just glass and, and windows busted out everywhere. They had cars that flipped over. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it, it's, you know, it's bad. And I hope the worst is past us. I, I don't know. And Dan, uh, uh, we we saw some some video from one of one of your officers uh, talking about a tornado. Did anyone s actually see a tornado? Now we we confirmed it on radar, but did anybody actually have a report where they saw the tornado? I don't know. Our, one of our officers were actually right in the middle of it. Um, I, I haven't spoken to him. I have not talked to anybody who actually saw it. I just know he was in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. When he said he saw cars flipping, his car was shaking. Um, you know, you can tell the panic in his voice when it came out. And, uh, you know, it just, just felt weird, you know, kind of like helpless, like, oh, my gosh, this is really happening, you know? Mm -hmm. um, How's that officer doing, by the way? He's, he's fine. He's fine. Yeah. He was able to okay. immediately immediately render aid to those that were, that were around his patrol car. Mm -hmm. um, so it's... Uh, you know, look, I'm going to say it again. If we make it out of this with just the minor injuries that, that I've seen so far, nothing major yeah. or no fatalities, then it's mm -hmm. a miracle. And, and how widespread is the damage that you've seen so far? So if you're familiar with Slidell, um, it starts on the south end of Slidell. Uh, I haven't made it to the north end yet, but I'm hearing by uh, Brown Switch area, um, the Johnny Smith industrial um, area off of, uh, Highway 11 near Pearl River, uh, Turtle Creek. I heard there's some damage. I, I, I think it's pretty widespread. It doesn't seem like it's a it's like a one destructive line, but it seems mm -hmm. like it's widespread, probably in a five mile radius around the city and surrounding unincorporated areas. And, and, is what I'm hearing. Like I said, I haven't, I haven't ventured out that far yet. And where was that apartment complex located that you said was uh, so badly damaged? That's uh, Courtney Height Apartments. It's a uh, off the old Spanish Trail and City Drive, I believe it is. And, and was there a lot of damage on Spanish Trail? 
lots of damage. Yeah, we can't even get down it right now. There's trees blocking probably uh, half a mile or so sporadically. And that's a heavily traveled uh, uh, street, too. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, you guys are doing a great job at posting um, on social, and we have some of those videos as you're talking um, of one of your offices there who was just giving kind of an assessment of what they're seeing. Um, I know you mentioned that about, you would guess, maybe 50 people had to be rescued from those Courtney Heights apartments. We do have reporter Meg Ferris who's on the way there to try to get um, a visual as well. What is being done for those people? I mean, obviously, they can't just stay out there with the severe weather. Um, do you know if they were able to... Uh, be transferred um, or maybe Red Cross, anything like that yet? Right. So um, I know we set up kind of a makeshift command post right now uh, with the fire department and, and ourselves. We called in additional resources from our search and rescue uh, off-duty officer, reserve officers, and the fire department has additional personnel coming in. We're trying to get those people um, to shelter. I'm not sure exactly where they're bringing them right now. Um, but uh, I know, look, we have a lot of resources in the community. I'm getting a lot of text messages from people, you know, wanting to help out. There's no doubt we're going to have the resources we need, you know. And I, I assume you've gotten uh, uh, calls for help from all over the, the city in Slidell. Yeah, I mean, at, at some point in time, you know, it's uh, we're still actually taking those calls in right now. We're, we're, not, we're unable to get to some of those people at the moment. So we're coordinating with the fire department who has chainsaws. And if we have a block thoroughfare, they're mm -hmm. cutting, uh, cutting through so we can get our officers down there. Some areas, the water's so high, we have to get our high water vehicle out. Um, but like I said, right now, just minor injuries that, that we know of, and uh, we hope it stays that way. Well, we do hope it stays that Absolutely. way. And, and uh, how, how bad is the flooding in some areas, and what areas are seeing the most water? Mostly the neighborhoods. Um, I, I once again, I haven't had a chance to get out there yet. I'm just mm -hmm. hearing it on the radio okay. uh, about okay. about off of West Hall in particular. I heard a little bit ago, and I don't think it's I don't think it's high water to the extent of getting in the houses, but I think it's high water to where you can't pass through with a regular vehicle. So, okay. so the biggest problem right now are down trees, power lines, telephone poles, things like that. Yeah, that, that's the most dangerous thing right now are these down trees and power lines. You know, it's, uh, it's, just, very, it's just very dangerous mm -hmm. to be out right now. Uh, I can't stress that enough. That is, this is not the time to, to sightsee, oh, not the time to do it. Yeah, we're looking at a live view we have right now um, from one of our reporter photographer teams in Slidell. I'm not sure exactly what intersection this is, but as you were talking about, Daniel, we're seeing those power lines um, not completely down, but definitely pushed over. And we're seeing some, you know, it looks like you, you know, police department, those uh, crews that you have blocking some of the intersections, but people are still out and about, which I know you keep saying that is the biggest issue for you guys is you don't need people out on the roadway because your crews are trying to do their job. Yeah, and this punch train drive we're looking at right okay. now, the hardest hit area, as, as Daniel was saying, was over on Old Spanish Trail. Right, Ponce Train and Old Spanish Trail got hit really, really hard. Mm -hmm. um, like, I'm looking at a car wash right now on Old Spanish Trail where everything looks like it just collapsed, the fences are, are down. Um, wow. So, you, I mean, it, the, the, the damage is, is, is widespread, you know, it, it's all over the place. Yeah, um, and, and, you know, uh, uh, Fortunately, and, and again, we keep, we keep stressing this so many times, if the injuries are just slight, mm -hmm. um, that will be miraculous. Be uh, and the damage that, that you've seen, like to that apartment complex, some of the homes, uh, does it, and, and again, it, does it appear to be tornado damage? I mean, is it just, is it just like total destruction? No, 100% 100, 100 tornado damage. There's no doubt in my mind. Mm -hmm. 